Okay, continuing in this, I've got my red, and uh, I'm going to paint uh, the sleeves. Uh, this is like a red oxide. This isn't a, I'm going to paint my sleeves red right here. There we go. And I'll get, kind of get these outside done here. And then I'm going to get my smaller brush as I get closer to the uh, inside. Okay. I'll get my smaller brush as I get so I don't get it everywhere. Get close to the hands here, trying to keep the red off in my can because red is also a dominating color. When you put it on, it, it if it gets on another area, it, it will show through. Like I said, even if it does, you can go back. Like if it gets a little on the brown, I go back with a little heavier brown and uh, we fix that up. I said it's no no deal to panic that's for sure okay now I'm gonna come in here with the red Like I said, you take your time when you paint. I, I, like I said, I'm doing this for you, and I'm going a little bit faster than normally uh, it, it might take, but that's all right. It's uh, like I said, it. Uh, and I want to tell you something. Get you a good light that you can uh, see with. Because there's a lot of places you can miss that you don't don't really see with the when you're doing this in the in certain crevices and stuff. See, I'm just kind of going around here to give it a uh, distinctive look. What I do is I hit it lightly with the brush. I don't, I don't uh, go too strong. Okay, see what we got there? Even saw a little place where I missed the brown, so kind of go up in here, take care of that. <laughs> 